Hello everyone, this lecture video is all about protein digestion and absorption and the learning focus is for you to be familiarized with the steps in the protein digestion process in terms of the sites where they occur and the products produced at each of the sites. So let us start. Of course, you have to eat a dietary protein, let's say a fish, it will enter your mouth. Out the saliva, amylase in your mouth has no effect in the digestion. So we can say that the Digestion will begin in the stomach rather than the mouth because saliva contains no enzyme that affect the proteins because it is such a heavy bonded biomolecule. So then both the protein denaturation and protein hydrolysis will occur here in the stomach. Why? Because the dietary protein that will enter the stomach will affect the release of the hormone gastrin. So it will affect the release of the hormone gastrin by stomach mucosa cells. And then the presence of the gastrin in the stomach uh, causes both the hydrochloric acid and pepsinogen secretion. The hydrochloric acid here has three major functions. First, its antiseptic properties kills most of the bacteria in the food and in the stomach. And second, the denaturing action of this one unwinds the globular protein, making peptide bonds more accessible to the digestive system. When we say unwinds, because the uh, proteins is bonded, they are bonded in they twist and twist and twist. So, what will happen here? It breaks the bond. It denatures the bond, but not totally. Uh, it softens the bond. Okay. And then next, the third property, it activates the pepsinogen. So, as you will remember, it will trigger. The presence of gastrin will trigger the secretion of pepsinogen. This one is in inactive form. So, the presence of gastrin triggers this one to be activated. And the active form of this one is pepsin. The pepsin affects the hydrolysis of approximately 10% of peptide bonds, producing variety of polypeptides. So this one triggers the breakage of the bonds through the addition of water. And when we say and when we say variety of polypeptides, so let's say this is your protein food, okay? And when the gastric juices uh acts on it, it will be on a smaller chunks, okay? or in smaller pieces. There are some people who are unable to synthesize enough gastric hydrochloric acid and these individuals must ingest capsules of diluted hydrochloric acid with every meal. So, if you are familiar with muriatic acid that you can buy in the store, this is the same chemical formula with that. But here, it, as the person will intake that, they are being uh, mixed with water in capsules and in smaller amount to aid the digestion of the protein. Now, these chemicals here, the, gas, the pepsin, the HCl, here the gastric juices, will pass in the small intestine. There, after the uh, gastric juices acts on the food, on the dietary protein, it will produce a large polypeptides, different variety of polypeptides. And it, that will enter the small intestine, and the small intestine has gastric juices from the stomach. It will flow. The gastric juices will flow into the small intestine, and when that flow... The acids will trigger the secretion of the enzyme secretin. Then the secretin will stimulate the production or pancreatic production of bicarbonate ion. This is the chemical formula of bicarbonate ion. Now this bicarbonate ion here, uh, it neutralizes gastric hydrochloric acid. So in the small intestine, the pH level there is kind of basic. It's a basic environment and not acidic. The stomach is acidic. Is an acidic environment while in the small intestine it is a basic environment so what will happen in the neutralization of hydrochloric acid after the bicarbonate ion neutralize that one there will be a basic environment and then this basic environment when we say basic the potential hydrogen or ph value ranges from 7.0 to 8.0 so that is what we mean by basic environment and the pancreatic enzymes there will be produced due to the basic environment it will trigger the release of the pancreatic enzymes trypsin chym chymotrypsin carboxypeptidase and aminopeptidase then this enzyme will thoroughly break the bonds of the large polypeptide bonds the pancreatic enzymes triggered by the basic environment will now thoroughly uh, break the bands of this large polypeptide bands and it will produce the small units of or basic units of protein which is the amino acids. Then these amino acids will enter the intestinal lining through the blood capillaries then it will flow into the bloodstream. 
already. So that is how that is being absorbed in the bloodstream through the intestinal lining. So that is all for protein digestion and absorption.